Okay, before I start, I better talk to everyone in the village. Huh? Something's... There's a... There's some... Kind of event going on up there? That can't be right. She can't be done yet. Yeah, well, wondering how my work is coming along? Unfortunately, I won't be finished with your weapons before the hunt starts. Huh, don't look so disappointed. Right now, I'm still refining some remaining impurities from the Ori Calcum. I expect to finish reforging everything once the hunt is over. Hmm, she's... At least she's not working directly on her weapons yet, otherwise we wouldn't be able to do the hunt right now. Hmm... Rakota is such a sweet girl. I'm rather surprised by how fussy she is about how she dresses. My, your dialogue did not change despite the hunt that's going on. Poop, I wanted to keep playing with Rakota a little longer. Hey Adol, can you get this hunt over with soon? Then Rakota can come play with me. Hmm. Nothing new here. Okay, let's just check out the farm. Hmm. Nothing new from you. Shrewd Pickard. Nothing new here. No one's on the hill. It's scary enough that the beasts keep coming to attack us. I uh, can't believe we're going to them. We're going to be on their home turf. They might have their own barricades and catapults set up. At all, do I really have to go to? I don't think I'd be of any help if I went. What, you need something? We're busy trying to get prepared for the hunt. Well, you guys are doing most of the heavy lifting this go around. I suppose it can't hurt to see what it is you want. Hey, I got things to do. If you need something, spit it out already. Do I have anything worth crafting? Luminous ring would be nice, but... Hmm, do I really want to bust a prismatic jewel on it when I don't know if I can even farm that? Well, so I would only be able to make two of them. Hmm, stone gloves could be useful. Bravery bracelet is... Just why? Why does it exist? Eh, hey, Rakota. I heard she's okay. You already said this. Nothing about the hunt. Adol, I'll join the hunt too. Everyone at the village has been really nice to me, so I want to repay them. Uh, I read in the book that that's what friends do. Hmm, time for a hunt. Naturally, I'm a little bit nervous about it. Still, it's not like we haven't been through plenty already, so we'll probably be fine. I mean, look at everyone, all pulling their own weight. I'm sure I'll be fine, like every other time. Huh, but I might sing a different tune if a primordial shows up. Enhancing our weapons of Ori Calcum. I wonder how it's going to turn out. Even in its, even in its purest form, it was very shiny. With Kathleen's skills, I bet they're going to be very beautiful. What is it, Adol? You seem surprised. I get a little excited when it comes to new weapons, too. You look like you can't wait, either. My word, what's with that smirk on your face? I get a little excited when it comes to new weapons, okay. This is Castaway Village, quite a splendid place. Hardly befitting one of my bearing, but life here should be quite bearable. 
Sure not. My magnificent survival skills will see us all through the safety once more. Nothing about the hunt? Just this. This is basically a mandatory quest. Jungle Outbreak. Talk to Dogi when you're ready to leave. I'm sorry, Adol. This is one of the few days that you guys get to rest. Well, please help out the village. Anyway, let's hope this hunt is a successful one. At least we can still raid practice, but... Do I don't think these fortifications are even going to do anything for hunts, only for raids. Hmm. I already upgraded it quite a bit. Are you done? Okay, let's do the hunt then. You guys are prepared to dispatch for the hunt. Are you ready? Uh, ten nests to deal with. With spend their numbers. Now, let's do this. I don't think I can get an S rank, but the the price for it is only a soft glove, so I'm not. T it shouldn't be too big a loss. Good, we're all here. I'm going to teach you the strategy for beast hunts. So where are we fighting? How are we doing it? The, the beast that's the source of the outbreak is hiding somewhere in the jungle. The goal of the hunt is to lure that beast out and defeat it. Adol, your team will be responsible for defeating that beast. Hmm, you believe smaller teams is more suited for this, this task? Yeah, you'll have an easier time mobilizing. Also, check that out over there. Some of them can be rather well hidden. I have to climb up vines for one of them, I think. And you're gonna need the the swamp shoes here. That's a beast done. If you ignore it, hordes of beasts are gonna keep pouring out of it. Make sure you immediately destroy any beast dens you find. Dens in the area will keep releasing beasts. If you destroy a den, the beasts will stop appearing. But how strong are these dens? The target of the hunt will appear once all dens are destroyed or after enough time passes. In other words, I have to hurry. Also, I need to give you guys, uh, need you guys to place torches in various spots as you go. Torches? Yeah, it'll help uh, us see your position so we can support you better. For example, that spot over there. Oh, man. This looks like it's going to be a really tough one. At certain locations, there are markers where you can place a torch. Torches will t take time and place, but once they are, they'll provide various support effects and they'll lower the enemy's strength as well. But be, wo be aware that enemies can destroy any torches you place. Destroying the beast ends efficiently while keeping your torches safe is the key to victory. Understood. I'll place a whole bunch of torches. Why don't we just burn the whole damn forest down? Yeah, from where the from and from there, we just gotta keep bust open every single beast den. That's a very basic summary of what we must do, yes. This sounds like one of the worst things ever. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Now let's get this hunt started. Good luck, everyone. Yeah. Uh, this is a lot of stuff to take in. Number of torches and their durability. Number of beast ends remaining in their durability. Gah. Uh. Battle gate. Do I, can I set up more torches if they fall down, though? Hmm. I am not gonna like this. Five. Dogi squad attack prep. We can nearby enemies and beast dens. No torches, we can nearby enemies and beast dens. Area effect is indicated on the mini map. Torches can be damaged. It's difficult to play, destroy beast stands out of a torch's range. Place a torch in a beast stand before you attack. Well, it appears if I take too long, too. It also periodically hide itself and reappear in the random location. When boss reappears, check the mini map. That's annoying as hell! Oh, god damn it. I can't even. God damn it, I can't even see where anything freaking is. It's also. Oh, fuck me!
Guys, help! Oh god. This is super stressful. What the hell happened? If I saw something. God damn it, I can't keep track of all this shit. Oh god. What am I supposed to do here? They're behind me too? Oh my god! Oh crap, they're still here! Ow! This is a really annoying freaking battle! Oh my god, there's too many! Oh my god. Fuck me. Oh god, here co boss time, isn't it? Ow! Fuck. Damn, I can't even. I this we're at a huge disadvantage here. Goes. Fuck it. I just need to deal a crap ton of damage. Oh, good. Okay, I think it's dead. Shit, I don't think we did very well. Holy shit, Dogie! You guys did really well. Wow, that's great. Great job, everyone. Yeah, good job. I least didn't lose any torches, but I didn't set them all up either. Yeah, A rank shit. How impressive. <laughs> did it. Hey, they got B rank. They actually did worse than us for some reason. Oh well. Soft love ain't worth the effort. I can always try again some other day. That would calm things down for a while. Yeah, yeah, we shouldn't have any issues gathering resources now. Glass well, all taken care of. I didn't realize it until after the hunt was over. But we've grown rather strong as a village. Hmm, all those beast raids must have honed our edge. 
That was so much fun, you guys. In the future, we might need you to hunt beasts in other regions, too. Hopefully, you'll be able to hunt those down just as fast. Very true. We should perform a bit hunt whenever the nearby beasts are calm. It's essential that we hunt down any threats that may arise. Yeah, we'll definitely need your help with future hunts. Come talk to me whenever you want to go on a hunt. Thanks again, you guys. You did a great job today. I should just use the right mango, damn it. Now then, Adol, I believe I was about to enhance our weapons before we inter were interrupted. I've already finished processing the processing the Orichalcum, so all that's left to do, uh, to do won't take very long. Let's head over to my smithy so we can get started. At last, Kathleen began the process of refining their weapons of Orichalcum. After being threatened by primordials for so long, Adol and the others just might have the upper hand against them. They waited, eager and anxious, until Kathleen's hammer finally fell silent. So this is what it feels like to wield an Orichalcum enhanced weapon. Wow, that looks really cool. Look at my weapon, Sahad. What do you think, Adol? At the moment, these are the best weapons I can forge. I'm excited to use mine. Same here. Still, your weapons have plenty of room for improvement. If you bring me more materials, I can refine your weapons even further. We will. Thank you so much. Oh, that's the raid bell. There you are, Adol. Man, am I glad this happened while you're uh, you're all still here. God, what's going on? You come to pick us up? Actually, I have important news to tell you. I was out patrolling when I got a report from Euron. There's a primordial among the beasts headed to the village. Are you serious? Yeah, judging from his description, it's the same one that I attacked before. The one that what gobbled up Nameless. We have new weapons. We can find a primordial now. Hmm, your Orichalcum weapons should give you the advantage. It's going to be a tough fight, but this is the perfect chance to test your weapons. Think of it as a grudge match, and go show that primordial punk who's boss. That primordial picked a fine time to show up, didn't it? Should get some rest. I appreciate your concern, but I'm actually feeling pretty good right now. I'll do my part to hold off this this raid. I have plenty of time to rest once this is dealt with. Come on, let's get this over with. How, can I help you today? How much further can I enhance them? Oh man, I don't have a... Leave it to it's gonna be me. tough getting all the ingredients. Whew, it's complete. I'll get started. Tech type ore is the one I really need. It's complete. I'll get started. All right, finished. I'll get started. All right, finished. Leave it to me. All right, finished. I'll get started. All right, finished. Leave it to me. Oh man. I think I'm going to have barely enough to upgrade her uh, her clubs. All right, finished. Oh man, but once I'm going to have to farm more if Hummel ever rejoins the party. He's going to need some Orichalcum weapons too. Look at that. Right. Looks like the defense penalty is slowly going down for Sahad. Okay, I can still t go in and out of the village if I need time to prepare, huh? Yeah, I am going to have to go uh, to restore my stock of uh, crew berries. Maybe we'll raid. We'll do the hunt after this is over. Ah. Okay, wonder if, do you have anything new to say? 
I heard from Euron. There's a dangerous primordial among the beasts this time. Please try to stay safe, Adol. If I can do anything at all to help, please don't hesitate to ask me. It seems our trial continues. I heard that our opponent this time is a pri powerful primordial. Please be careful, Adol. I'll do my best to support you. I am nervous. Uh... I just found something. I feel I feel like the plants will grow differently based on how you water and fertilize them. If I do this, it means less work for me. Yeah, let's give it a try. Harvest. Be careful, Kleena. The primordials are dangerous, so keep your distance. I'm okay. I'm on traps and rock rowing. Hey, I'm watching over you. Alright, you've got my back then. Uh-huh, just leave it to me. Uh, too bad you're on your team. Yeah, that's no fun. Oh well, I guess I'll keep tossing out chili chunks. Hey, I'll back you up by buying you time. Seriously? That's going to be great. Hmm. Anything else? I'll have plenty of time to rest once this is dealt with. Come on, let's get this over with. I was asked for medicine so suddenly I hesitated. I'm glad it wasn't for an injury. That roar, it must have been the same ferocious beast from that other time. Please, Adol, please defeat that beast. As we waste time here, that beast is... Please, Adol, please protect this village. Oh, I gotta take this medicine? Ah, thanks, this will give me a boost. Oops, maybe that was too much boost. Ah! Ah, um, yes, take care. Oh, I think I might have actually farted on camera on, uh, uh, on, uh, while recording a few times due to my gas issues. Will this give us enough of an edge against those beasts? We're gonna have to fight the, that primordial in a raid. The thing about the raid is that it's really hard. There's, uh, the terrain is a lot different from a standard boss arena where you usually have more room to work with. Not to mention... The muck I, slowed me down a lot while fighting that bat boss. And having to deal with waves rather than singular bosses is also a lot harder. I can't just re reload every time the boss one-shots me like I do for boss battles. Adol, this is an enemy that made us suffer so much that I'm getting anxious. But... A weapon that carries everyone's will. I'm sure it'll work. Let's go, Adol. We must believe in everyone's strength. A weapon that carries everyone's will. I'm sure it'll work. No. My just an opponent. I tried to fight with a full stomach and got terrible indigestion. That's why I feel like I can withstand this now. Ha ha! Hmm. The beasts are attacking. At long last, the time has come for me to show my skills in battle. Should you find yourself quaking in fear, you may hide behind me. I will do the honorable thing and protect you. Yeah. Primordials again! Defeat Primordials! Believe in Kathleen's weapons! I heard of the Primordials are coming again. We have a winning strategy this time. Sounds good, right? I'm hoping for rare materials this time. Our strategy sounds good. I'm hoping for rare materials this time. Okay. I'm going to need you to hold a line against the primordials. 
Pretty sure those weapons should do the trick against them. I know you guys have the strength to see us through this. Just don't underestimate the enemy. Be ready for anything. That one's gonna be way too hard to S rank. Jeez, everybody seems to be on their toes around here. This is the perfect opportunity to test those new weapons out. I'm counting on you. If you can't beat them here, then this village is done for. Point is the primordial, so enhance those decoys. How about it? Make sure you're ready to go. I already enhanced everything I could. Hmm. Alright, let's just get this over with. Alright, if you're prepared, then send by your position. Good to go? I don't think I can even S rank anymore. Go, These grades are getting too hard. To too much perfection required. Oh shit. <laughs> Let the battle begin. Crap. They're coming. Ow! I don't even care about no damage. Fuck this. I just want to get this over with. Yeah, this skill sucks. Seriously. Most of Lexia's skills are really, really bad. Why are there still so many in this raid? Please, take this. Oh fuck! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I can't win this! Shit! Seriously, we can't win this! It's too hard! Shit! This is insane! How lucky. Or he lost the- I can't win this, I need to redo this. Okay, this time I managed to make it through. Ugh. Battle report. Battle report. Fortunately, uh, someone fro- uh, Queen I managed to freeze the enemy. But I won't get lucky again, I know that. Oh, come on, two! Oh, come on, there's another one! Oh, come on! They have totally- Hurry up and repair, you're on! Oh, fuck me! There's more- Damn! 
Oh, fuck me! Why does everything have to be a freaking one to kill in this game? That was overkill, shoot. I really hate Primordial so much. I better take this victory, at least I still have most of my lures. Seriously, S-ranking this looks outright impossible! Oh, fuck me! There's so many! They're fucking everywhere! Fuck! There's another Primordial! Two! I can't win this! I don't have enough extra! Oh shit! This is really one of the nastiest battles. Shit. Uh, at least I have my extra gauge full for next time. God damn, I'm reviving a way too much in this one. I already lost a lure. Didn't get my full kill rate either. Battle report. Battle report. Damn it! This is so frustrating. There's still another one! I'm coming right now! Please use this! Oh, come on, there's another one! Crap! Ugh. This is really the worst battle ever. Oh no. Damn. Damn. Dogie, you're too fucking slow to help us. This is the worst one ever. Ugh. Come on! I can't win! Can't keep this bastard down. Ugh.
Oh man, that was horrible. We're, we lost so many barricades and lures. And we're gonna have to face the Avalanche Guild on top of all that? Seriously. This is insane. Oh, I am awesome. I'm gonna have to redo this at like level fucking 99. Too many primordials. Ah, fuck me! Is he just sniping our freaking shit? Oh shit! Ugh. Oh come on! This is the worst thing ever! Damn, Force Edge is horrible here. Uh, this is the worst thing ever. Um. We haven't even gone. Damn it, this is so frustrating. Damn it! Finally! Uh, I lost everything! Except for a single lure and a gong. That's literally it. That was the worst thing ever. I really wish they'd give us a bonus score based on our chosen difficulty level 2. That was freaking terrible. I got freaking wrecked out there. <laughs> what a great job. I can't believe that still counts for A rank. They got S rank, seriously? Ugh, this is so frustrating. I really don't like this raid system at all. I don't like the, having to deal with so many waves and then a freaking boss that I cannot retry for. And then I have to do this all over again later on, huh? Oh man. Uh, I hope there isn't anything too critical from winning these raids because I, I just can't S rank them all. It's impossible unless I'm horribly over leveled. Beast has finally fallen. You might want to cut off its head first.
Seriously, I really should not have picked Inferno mode. Maybe next game I'll just All pick, right. like, hard right. mode or something. Afterward, the village held a small celebration to celebrate their victory. The castaway spirits had been renewed in light of their triumph over the primordial menace. Upon his return, Adel was nearly overwhelmed as a sea of jubilant voices washed over him. For the occasion was less the occasion was less formal than Lexi was used to, she didn't seem to mind at all. So Han and Rakota held hands and danced the night away. However, we're still stuck on this island. Perhaps the real trial starts now. Thinking that, Adel crawled in the bed and fell into a deep sleep for the first time in a long while. It takes a lot more resources to survive a raid than it does a boss battle. Uh, I wish they'd do away with the ranking system and just give us all the prizes too. Just because of the whole difficulty level thing. Ugh. Really hard to S rank this stuff. They don't give you much leeway. Are you okay, Sahad? Ow, my head's killing me. Plus, one hit kills just pretty much make everything worse. So your head is evil? Yeah, well, I have been told that I ain't quite right upstairs. God, my head's throbbing. L leave him alone, Rakoda. My word, this is what you get for drinking too much. Uh, sorry, I couldn't help myself. So that was the first time I had ever seen anyone so happy and jubilant. It was a very pleasant experience. Yeah, you got that right. When everyone's happy, I'm happy. Now that we know what Orichalcum weapons are effective against Primordials, we should leave for Gendarmi at once, Adol. After I get all my fruits back. Yeah, we gotta find Rakota's father. Come on, come on, let's go. That was terrible. I never want to do that again. Maybe I should just give up on these S ranks, huh? Oh wow, this one's even... Sh the red one has so much more hit points than the green one. Ugh. Don't have enough cocoa nuts. <laughs> this one is it costs, and these ripe versions cost a lot. Oh, Ugh. That was terrible. <laughs> time to go farm. All right, time to start talking to all the villagers. Damn good thing we finally have someone that will let us fight primordials, and we have Rakota to thank for that. Maybe I should fix her favorite food as a reward. Maybe we could even find her father while we're at it. Come on, Adol. I'm ready to head back north whenever you are. I should also check the quest board. Test prototype. Crafting something to help fight primordials, but it needs field testing. If you have spare time, come see me. I wish to go to Warbane Hill and offer my prayers to God. To whoever reads this, please guide me there. I didn't think it would go this smoothly. It feels like we finally found some hope. In order to build a ship, we would need blueprints. I'll try to think of a different plan that won't require a blueprint. There's a lot to deal with, but let's tackle what we can. Ask Kathleen for countermeasures against the Primordials. We don't have any hope for the blueprints, but hey, let's just do what we can. Tell me anything. I think fortifying the village a lot will increase your score a little bit because it because that means your stuff will be able to survive longer. All right, then. That's probably the only reason why I was able to get A rank because I had fully upgraded the village the, as much as I could. Since Sahad taught me a new dish, it's my turn to teach you one. My father is very picky about broth and salt, so this dish is his favorite. You should try it too. Cabbage rolls. Cabbage recipe. Did your father teach you this recipe? Indeed, my father taught me the basics of cooking. But I learned this recipe from a cookbook. By the way, this filling gets really hot. Careful not to burn your tongue. Okay, where is it? Cabbage recipe. Huh. 
I'm at a loss for words. Recover those rare adepts when it comes to cooking. It's unbelievable that she learned it all from books that drifted here. What's that smug grin for? Are you, are you sure you want to mock me? Perhaps you do not want a lunch? Ahem, Ricardo's also good at preparing tea, so she must have practiced for a long time. Maybe I should have her teach me. Father is great at cooking. We took turns cooking when we lived together. If I get to see him again, I'll ask him to cook for everyone. Um, it's nothing serious, but I went around after the raid to treat everyone and they were all very thankful. Because it was a tough battle, you see. Not for my treatments, no. I've never been thanked by anyone. It really confused me. Um, seeing people smile is a real nice feeling. I found a bunch of good alcohol from yesterday's driftage, which helped me fatten up my wallet real quick. But I get paid materials, so it doesn't feel like I made much profit. But I want to get real money for stuff. When I get paid materials, it doesn't feel like a profit. Hey, welcome. You really need to have more stuff available, too. <sighs> if only it was easier to farm ripe fruit as well, then... I could sustain myself in battle a little longer. Well, it can't always be sunshine and rainbows. We have to keep exploring, not to mention trying to find some way off the island. I talked it over with Dogi, and I'm seeing what I can come up with. You should look for clues on your end as well. Oh, that. Alright, I'll fill you in on the details. Having the means to defeat Primordials is a pretty significant milestone, but it doesn't make them any less dangerous. Anyway, after talking it over with Dogi, I ended up making this. Grey Pauldron? It's a shoulder pad. What is this? It's a prototype shoulder guard I put together using some pretty strong materials. It should help keep you from bleeding to death, though your mileage may, may vary. I want you to test it out for me. Test it how? It's easy, you just need to defeat some Primordials while you wear it. I bet there are lots of Primordials stomping around Gendarme, right? Uh, the orange ones. I want you to defeat two of them while wearing it. No. Come see me once, once you're finished. You're dismissed. This sounds like a really nasty quest. Is it an accessory? Resist bleed. This is an accessory that we, you should have made long ago. Why d now? Ugh. Cursed primordials. And I. At the moment, Lexi and Rikoda are spending some time cooking together. You'd almost think they were really, really were sisters from how nice they are to each other. It's heart heartwarming to see. Okay. Oh, I'd not realized that you and your friends were such skilled combatants. You managed to completely upstage my dazzling heroics. But no matter, I have other means of proving my mettle. Slowly but surely, bit by bit, you will learn a measure of my worth. Hmm. Let's see, who else can I talk to here? Huh, we made quite a ruckus last night, but I'm glad we all had fun. But duty calls. I'm sure you're itching to get back to exploring, yeah? Your weapons are up to snuff now, so off to Gendarme you go. We're gonna need another flame stone if we want to get stronger. How can I help you today? We actually got quite a few beast bones fr from fighting off those red ants. 
for some reason. At least that's what I think. Uh, that's where I think I got it from. Yeah, they drop beast bones despite being insects or bugs or something. That is weird. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you last since you're a quest person. Mm, I knew it! It grows better if you use less fertilizer and melt it into the water. Which means... Adol? I'm not doing this because I enjoy working or anything, okay? This is worth investigating. How should I say it? It'll make farm work easier. That's all. Okay, grab some more, <laughs> more veggies. Let's see. Shoe bill. I do not think I can do anything with you. Hmm. Should probably. I can always. Go I'll just probably kill his primordials off screen since it'll result in a lot of dying and retrying. Yeah, that would be for the best. Okay, I managed to pull it off t somehow. It turns out you can get- if you travel behind a rock, you might be able to cause its rolling attack to s fail. Of course, using an extra skill also helps. So yeah, use a campsite if you need to. to s just to make th the process of killing it faster. You defeated some primordials, only two. Nice, what do you got for me? Took a bigger beating than I expected. I'll need to use stronger base materials. Anyway, now I know what I need to do to improve on the design. Honestly, it's not very helpful because these guys are gonna one shot you anyway. They're gonna one. Basically, you'll die before you even worry about the bleeding effect. Thank you, Adol. You're welcome. Hmm, gotta admit, you're pretty damn reliable. Hmm, might be good practice if I strengthen this one real quick. I'll just be a second. There we go. Here, consider this your payment for services rendered. Dragon Pauldron. I, unless it gives me a million hit points, it's probably not going to be enough to save me. It's a beautifully ornate shoulder guard. The surface is decorated with an intricate engraving. Huh? Oh, where are you staring at? You must really like crafting. Who asked you, damn fool? Oh, man. Quit jumping to conclusions about me. Anyway, you can never know what danger awaits you. Don't let your guard down. His approval has increased, huh? I hope it's I hope it's not possible to actually screw this up. If I end up getting, it would really suck if I failed to get the true ending on the first try, even though I only need two hundred apparently. Come check it out, Dragon Pauldron. It does give a little bit of strength and defense, but doesn't seem to be that great. See ya. Hmm. His approval increased, but my reputation doesn't... It didn't... Uh, did it even increase my reputation? Hmm. What exactly is your quest? Uh, at all. Thank you for exploring the island. Um, can you spare a moment? This is gonna be an annoying one. Escort quest. Hmm, what a gorgeous view. Standing here gazing at the sky, uh, the sky in the ocean makes me feel closer to God. I want to be as close to God as I can when I pray to him. I believe my prayers will reach him better from the top of Weravane Hill. That sounds dangerous. Will you please guide me there? That sounds dangerous for you. Perhaps. Even so, I needed to be sure of something first, no matter how dangerous it may seem. I won't force you to help me. But if you have some spare time, I would truly appreciate your assistance. But passive healing better work on you, just saying. 
If not, we're screwed. If you begin this quest, you will start at the foot of Warbane Hill. You must reach the top of the hill as Adol while keeping Sister Neo from harm. Speak to Sister Neo when you are ready. This sounds like it's going to be nightmarish. Seriously. Escort quests, they just should not exist. Ever. I need to get to the top of Warbane Hills. Can you please guide me there? At all, thank you very much. And where's my destination? Somehow I made it all this way. But now the real trial begins, for I must trek to the top of Wervane Hill. I thank you, Adol, for your assistance in this endeavor. Ugh, make your way to the top while keeping her safe. If I or sister Nia or Adol fall, it's game over. This sounds like a nightmare. Oh shit, did she die? No, she survived the hit. In fact, she took less damage than me. What gives? Does she have passive healing? I don't think she does. Shit. Is she he No, she, can she can't heal herself. I have to be near her for it to work. And I have to be wounded myself? That's so inconsistent. Let's continue slaying them all. Seriously, I, my walking speed is her running speed. What gives? Uh, what a perilous path. But if I think of this as a trial... Yeah! Oh, come on! I killed everything! How did you one-shot it? How do you kill in two hits in the cutscene? I can't do it in two hits yet. I'm not high level enough for that. I'm terribly sorry, I tripped over my tunic. I placed you in harm's way all because of my clumsiness. You may want to get a shorter skirt. I'm here to protect you. Your knight in shining armor or something. I'm sorry, you have been wonderful. Amel, can you avert your gaze for a moment? Alright, it is safe for you to look now. Hmm, I apologize for my earlier behavior. Now I won't stumble again. There's still more! But at least she'll be- she, but she'll probably run faster now, but that could also be a disadvantage for me. What triggers her healing? Oh well. She's still slow as hell. My walking speed is still her running speed. Well, my extra gauge is filled, so I can always cheese the last enemy I come across. Okay, you wait here. That should be far enough. Yes, but she won't let us gather all the stuff there, unfortunately. Whew, we're finally here. What a spectacular view. Thank you for escorting me here, Adol. The only advantage of this escort mission is that she won't try to chase you if you're too far away. That means she won't always be in the enemy's face. That's about it. Thank you for waiting. We can head back now. And I can go back to farming fruits. What do you pray for? I was telling God that I have made a decision for myself. And up until now, I had been praying to God to keep everyone safe and help us escape this island. I thought that if I prayed fervently enough, he would lend his divine aid. But after everything that happened with Dr. Kiergaard, two of us are now dead. Were two of those steps part of God's plan? If so, then I... I am a devout sister of the church. I must always pray to my celestial master. But I find myself wondering if I should be doing more before I offer up prayers. 
I know there's nothing I could have done to save them. And yet, I want to do all I can as a person before I offer prayers as a sister of the church. By doing this, I think I think I can be of more help to everyone. This is not God's will, Rare. This is what I desire for myself. Your conduct has helped me arrive to this, at this realization, Adol. And for that, I thank you. I didn't do anything. <laughs> You're so humble, Adol. I'm still inexperienced, and therefore not as attuned to God's will as I should be. From now on, I will try not to just blindly accept whatever fate is in store for me. Has in store for me. The reason I wanted to come here was so I could tell God that myself. And now that I've done that, I will take this decision I've made to heart. I hope you'll continue to help me walk the path I've chosen for myself, Adol. We did it! Approval increase, heal potion. Heal. People. Quests. Okay, 85. So I really only get one point for quests, even if I give the nice answer, huh? She still has one more. Did I... What? That's right. I, still, I probably still need to find a gift for her, but... Dina does not have anything new yet. Take your time. See you later. Hmm, and that's pretty much it for now before I start exploring the mountain again. Where I will still probably run from all those primordials because they're still gonna one-shot me. Might as well talk to Nia one more time. Thank you very much for earlier. Let's continue our efforts. Showing some leg. Ah. They always, they always, it's like all these games have the exact same algorithm for the camera in order to prevent you from getting any, any risque shots. It must be open, an open source algorithm, a camera algorithm, yeah. Since everyone is apparently doing it. Yeah, all to prevent panty shots. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Dana, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.